All right. This is going to be an example for second class levers, um, just to go through some basic calculations that we can do for those types of levers. So remember our second class of lever has the resistance in the middle. Um, so a really good example is a wheelbarrow, and that's usually the ones that are used in any questions. So for our wheelbarrow, we're going to have our fulcrum at one side. We're going to have the rest of our lever going in the next direction. We have our resistance, it said was in the middle. So this is our FR, okay? And our effort will be at the end. So this is our FE. All right, just like that. So for this one, we're going to have our FR is going to be 500 pounds. All right, um, we don't know our effort force at the moment. And so now we have our distances. So our distance from our center, the center of our wheel, so the center of our fulcrum, to the center of our load, which is our resistance, right here, is going to be two feet. I'm realizing that was hard to see. Apologize for that. So two feet. What's the place? There it goes. Okay, so two feet. And then from the wheel all the way to your effort force, it's going to be six foot. All right, so six feet. So this is your DE. This was your DR, just so that they're labeled. So remember, usually the first question for things like this are just label and draw the system so you get a good idea of what numbers are what and where they are all going in the system. Alright, so this is a little cramped. I would suggest making this a little larger, but that's okay. As long as you get a general idea. So what we're going to do first for this, we're actually going to find our IMA. We want to find our ideal mechanical advantage. So what it would be ideally if we were in a world without friction. So our IMA is going to be our DE divided by our DR, both of which we know. All right, so we can fill this in. Our DE was 6 feet. Our DR was 2 feet. Okay, remember, use those units. Our feet will cancel in this case, and we're left with 3. Okay, so we're in a system where it's 3 to 1, 3 times easier than it would be, and three times the distance. All right, so what we'll look for next, since we were missing our effort force, we're going to use our static equilibrium to find that effort force. Okay, so we're going to use the same static equilibrium equation we've used before. So that is our FR times DR equals FE times DE. Remember, it does not really matter what order this is in, as long as you have both of your resistances on one side and both of your efforts on the other. You could say dr times fr. It's the same thing. Okay? So we're going to fill in what we know. We know our fr is 500 pounds. Okay, our dr was 2 feet. Right, our fe, we don't know, so we leave it as fe. Or again, you can put it as x if you'd like. That's perfectly fine. Times de, which is our 6 foot. Okay, just like before, we want to simplify this side, so 500 times 2, so we're going to get 1,000. Remember, to keep your units, so foot-pounds for now, equals our Fe times 6 foot. Okay, so to get Fe by itself, we need to do the opposite of whatever's happening here. So this is multiplied, so we need to divide by 6 feet on both sides. Okay, so this cancels our feet cancels, so then we're left with 1,000 divided by 6. Alright, so we'll have 1,000 divided by 6 is going to give us 166.67 repeating-ish, so just 6,7 for now, and we're keeping our pounds, and that equals Fe. Alright, so remember you're just going through, you're using this main equation right here, filling out what you know, and just solving for whichever you don't know. 